top as well. Right. Okay. That's it, let's go, let's go. Yeah. This app doesn't seem to want to be open, like. We're, we're on, we're on. We're on, we're on, we're on, we're on, we're on. We're on. We're on. hello. Good morning. Everybody all right? Oh, I don't know why, I don't know where I am. I <laughs> should have really need me colander out. Ah, it's <laughs> good. It's to be safe. Oh, dear me. You right. never know. <laughs> this is the last um, cooking stream today. Quite sad about it, actually. I've, I've really enjoyed making all these meals for millions of people every week. Um, who have we got in the chat? I can see. Charlotte and Sue. Charlotte and Sue. Hi. Oh, Charlotte, Sue, why is it on there? Before I forget, if you do make one of the face masks that we um, put the video on for, just was it Saturday it went on? If you end up making one this week, can you send me a quick video? Um, or not a video, a picture of your finished product just so we can like see what people have done on the back of the video because we, we need to um, yeah, get some feedback and it's good if you have actually done it. So if you, I know you two were thinking like, it's a good idea that like, you might actually make one. So if you do, uh, please send them over so we can have a little look at them. And the other thing. What's your thing? I don't know, I can't remember. <laughs> do the craft. Yes? The, the Sunflower was the other one. Yeah, <laughs> sunflowers. Anybody done the sunflowers before? I don't know. <laughs> if anyone's Dan, done the sunflower. You're just making stuff up. We never discussed that. Right, so what we're doing today, so for dessert, we've got lemon drizzle cake. Um, and then for the main, I'm making a, a Mexican bowl, like a Mexican. Um, for heat the bowl, so I'll put everything in and I can think of, but if you're making your own later at, at some point, you need to put all these ingredients in, just put the things in that you like, um, and you're going to get a tortilla wrap as well to go with it. So I'm going to start with the cake, because that takes a while in the oven, because I need to preheat the oven on 180, just put that on now, and the good thing about this cake is, the ingredients is the same quantity for the flour, the sugar, and the, the margarine, the butter, whatever you're using for, the, for that. Um, and for roughly every 50 grams that you, you use of each one, it's one egg as a ratio. So I'm going to use six eggs and around about 300 grams of each of the others. So here goes, last one, last cooking. If you make any of these meals as well, we would like to see them. Obviously, I'm making a larger cake today because it's got to feed a lot of people. Hmm. But the recipes will be on probably Tuesday, I would think, for you to go back and have a little look at. So if you are um, keen to make any of these recipes later, you can go back on the channel and have a little look later. So the first thing we need to do is measure out the butter or the marge, whatever you decide to use. I like using the stock thing, uh, the stock marge, because I think it mixes easy. It's quite soft even when it's come out of the fridge. And for this cake, you need it quite um, soft. If it, if it was hard, it wouldn't uh, smooth up as the same. Don't do this at home, weigh it out separately. I think you just get used to... You can do it that way, you just have to be good at maths. That's the problem. You have to be careful not to go over. Right, so I've done that. So that's me sugar and me margarine. And all I'm going to do now, a bit of elbow grease. Make it all fluffy. This is the key. If you can get this bit nice and airy, you can't arrive. But a technical term. Technical term. Airy. Airy. Yes, it is. Charlotte said she had a bit of a cringe when you weren't wearing a thimble, whatever that means. So <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, the thing is, um, Charlotte, as well, on the video, it would have looked like I was doing this, but I was, in real life, it was very, very slow and contoured. People actually wear thimbles. Yeah, I've never okay. ever worn one. I just keep. Like, I thought it was like a. 
I just heard the term jingle and know it's to do with sewing. It's, it's also a character on Monopoly. You put it yeah. over your thumb. Actually, I don't think it is anymore. That might be controversial. So you're putting the needle yeah. in. I think it stops you stabbing yourself here yeah. and then <laughs> sticking your hand to like something. Oh, Lyndon as well. Hi, Lynn. Lynn, if you make the face mask, can you send us a picture? Just so I've got a little bit of a log of who's made one. Oh, no, I'm just What's thinking about Monopoly. All oh, right, okay, I see. I get you. Do, do, do. I mean, it just finished yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it'll be back in six weeks. Something like that, yeah. Well, there's still Seven some weeks. on. All the final, the finals are on too. See, so that's getting there, but I would still make, keep mixing that, even though it's all mixed in. To be honest, I'd probably just eat that now. That's enough. <laughs> that's enough preparation for me to just eat that now. I'm going to have a break though because I start to get a bit of cramp. So I'll come back and mix a bit more of that. And oh, would you believe it? Six eggs! Oh. Just what I need. I think this was planned. Just trying to get this cake in the oven as quick as I can because it's going to take about 40 to 50 minutes to cook. In fact, it will take a little, little bit longer just with it being a bigger cake. Can you remember how we test a cake to check it's cooked? Throw it off the Punch wall. it. Right in the middle. Don't punch it, don't no, throw no. it off the wall. Do kick offs with it. No. no. Put a thing in it. <laughs> what? The thing. You stab it with something. I can't remember what. That's the one. Well done. It was a it was a question for the chat like. No, no, life. no, chat, you've got nothing to do. This is all me. <laughs> I'm not messing around with you like. Just cake on the line here. Yeah. <laughs> One piece. I think that might be cake over there as well. That's a big cake. A cheeky one there. I made it in case this one doesn't cool down in time. Ah, uh, that's see that's small. Uh -huh. There's also a block of cheese there, which I'm very I'm very interested to see what happens <laughs> with that. So going for a leopard skin print. Uh, oh no, sorry. Leopard skin pink? Print was it? Oh, it might be she might meant print. Yeah. Oh nice. Oh I'm looking forward to seeing these trendy masks. Hayton wanted a white one shark where we could on. put shark yeah. teeth on. Be good, be good. Yeah. So or like the, a seen one. Sorry, go on. I was just saying Sue's saying you should listen to the lads more because they talk a lot of sense. That's true. Sue so you get it. So you know. Sue, so, come on. You let the side down. Right, back on my cake, so I need to make this a bit more fluffy. I've mixed the eggs up in a bowl and I'm going to add the eggs into this mix before I put the flour in. Normally when you're doing like a sponge cake, you would put a bit of flour, a bit of eggs, a bit of flour, a bit of eggs and mix it all in together that way. Whereas this one, you're better off putting the eggs in first. And then sitting in the flour. Yeah, see how that's a better... Now. So you'd recommend margarine for that? I would, but as opposed to butter. You, you can still use both. I mean, if, you, if you're um, like vegan or anything as well, you might want to use like vegan spread. Mm. So this takes a little bit of time to blend in. Could you do it with vegan because it's got eggs in it? Oh no. No, you can't even do eggs. They've got replacement eggs that you can make eggs with. That's what they are. Alright, well, you'd, have to, you'd have to replace it, but yeah. I, I don't know whether it would work. I didn't think about that. No, no, there, there, is, there, must, there must be a way to do it because you can get vegan cake. Oh, so yeah, but it's, it's got to be a, a replacement for eggs. It, it's whether or not eggs that would work in this type of recipe, yeah. you'd have to try it, wouldn't you? Also, leopard skin print pink is actually a Oh, thing. leopard skin pink. So like yeah. leopard skin print, so but it's it pink. Is, it's leopard print, but it's pink. I, get, yeah. I know what you mean. I've seen a cool one and it was like... That's what I thought you meant. It was like the Hannibal mask, uh, which is quite cool. That's not leopard skin. Well, I cannot wait to see it. I think it'll look amazing. Starting off a trend. Seems as I've also said, this show would be nothing without Darren Hayden. and tea. Uh, Sue, what's wrong with you this morning? <laughs> it's not normally on nah. the left side. 
Dan just hides in the background, Sue. So. Can you imagine this if they want him? moderate itself. <laughs> I think you've been hacked, Sue. I think we need to ring Sue and check she's not being hacked. So we've only on the craft channel at the minute. We've only got the sunflower, which we, we oh, did for Saint Benedict's Day. Don't say only. We no, have no, no. got. We've got two yeah. videos only at the moment. We've got, we've got the sunflower. Not only. They're good videos. We're hey. making for upset only. No, but we're going to add a lot more, <laughs> that's what I mean. Only makes it sound like we've not done enough. They're, oh. good, they're good videos, man. We've done two they videos can. so far. It's more like it. Got to be positive. Quality, high production value. High quality, <laughs> butch, strong videos. Stop yeah. it. So we've obviously got the face mask on, which is a recent one. If you haven't seen it, it's on our Facebook now. Um, and you can get it on the YouTube channel. Um, yeah. And then we've got the St. Benedict sunflower as well. So if you want to have a go making any of those and send us some pictures, then we'd appreciate a little bit of feedback that way. Just, just, just to show that you've done it. Now that there, you would think that is way too runny and gloopy. But trust us, I'm a doctor, mm. food doctor. So Lynn's uh, using it from an old swimming costume, so oh, got nice. re repurpose stuff that you're not using anymore. Yeah, there's loads of things that you can probably use at home that you don't have to go out and buy material. You could, like I said before, you could, you could use like an old like pillowcase or tea cloth, tea towel. I've seen someone online making them out of Hoover bags. Yeah. Obviously not. From the Hoover though. No, no, a, not a dirty one. A clean, <laughs> fresh Hoover bag. But you could, there's loads, there's loads of things, loads of ideas. So yeah, definitely get creative and let us know what you come up with. Right, so I need to weigh out the flour now. I'm going to leave my sugar out because I need that for um, the drizzle. The shame Rube's not here yet either because there's a the plate as well. Oh yeah, he loves that plate. That plate, man. Some boy, that plate. We've got four of them from Debenhams in the sale for a time. Debenhams? Debenhams. <laughs> yeah, see. Judge Charlie's in there. You proud Judge Charlie, though. <laughs> loves that, though, Debenhams. Stop it, man. <laughs> see, we sure. It is, it is. Bringing the tone down. Well, that's flour. How much flour? Lots of flour. Two. Two five or two hundred roughly for the cake that like you would make, Ram. Make a little bit extra today. Because my cake's a bigger cake. It's been tried and tested a few times, so we're good. Right, I'm not getting so back into the mixture a bit at a time. So why are we sieving it in then? We sieve it. Well actually, girls in the chat, there's only girls in there at the moment. Can one of you tell Hayden why we sieve flour in the, in the, in the cake? Uh, don't say girls, that's very... But there's only girls in there, I can see. Ah, that's very rude. If there's any guys in there as well. If anyone knows, please. Yeah. <laughs> why do we sieve flour in the cake? And if Hayden was listening to another show, he would know they. I don't listen to a word anyone says to me ever. <laughs> right, so just slowly mix that in. Be careful because if you go too quick, the flour will go everywhere. Remember, there's a delay, so it's just come through that question. Oh, right, okay. Sue says, and then says, about, and Charlie says. Oh no, 
shout anything out. Uh, about putting air into it. Thank you. No lumps. So it gets quote unquote air. No lumps, gets air in it. Uh, airy. Million, millionaire. And allows your cake to rise. It's all about rising. All about the rise. And it makes it nice and fluffy. Otherwise you'll get like a rock cake. Lumps. Just a big lumpy cake. Just a great tea. Sorry? Please, I thought that was me cake that you were doing that day. No, no. I was just about to tell you off. Just making cool sounds with the bad one, right? Gaten's like the annoying little brother that you want to just tell off all the time. Joey's in the chat now. Also guess the lumps thing. Hi Joey! for short crust, short crust pastry. Oh, that's the one oh, thing I'm not so really good cheat at. And buy ready that's the one thing I'm not, I'm not really good at. The only thing I would suggest to do is uh, look in the B-roll book uh, because or look online for B-roll because I think that's probably going to be your simplest way to do it. But it's probably one of the oh short crust or, or what am I thinking? Is that what you said? Short crust. That's what Sue said. Oh yeah, that one. Sorry, that one's easy to make. I, I can, I can do that for bagel. Is the one I use for pastry anyway. But I, I'm thinking you meant phyllo there for some reason. There's one of them where it's not really worth the hassle, and it's better just to buy it. Joey's suggesting a recipe for that as well. 100 grams of chilled fat. There you go. Chunk for that one. Right, so I'll have to mix it in. Woo! Now, before I put this into the cake tin, I'm going to add lemon zest. Can we, um, where's the lights switching out? Yeah. Put the lights on. Let's go. Bit grey and miserable the day, like. I'll do it with this as well. Can you see it on there? So I'll just put this over the base. Yeah, start it all over. And then it comes out the tin easier. I'll put that in the oven like that. And. You stick to the bottom then. Eh? Hey? You stick to the bottom then. No, and I'll just, I'll just put some margarine around the side. So I've kept this lid out. 
because it's grease proof. You've got a little bit on the bottom. So. You've got that there and it just stops the tape from sticking. So two lemon zests. I'll be broken too. I've got a new one, but I'll show you it. So it's great for cheese. I'll probably use great. it later. It's great, great, ah. hey, boom, 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 boom. Get that one to Daniel later. <laughs> so it's great for cheese because it's got those bits, but these bits here, yeah. they, don't, they don't even work. So that there, isn't that there? I always end up grating off half my hand. Whereas you need like a little <laughs> one like that, so you need like a miniature one of those. Yeah. For it to get the zest. That there just blocks it up, doesn't it? <coughs> Disappointing. You don't think about the practical side of these things when you... Oh, what happened there? <laughs> and then, ah, I've just elbowed it. Hmm, ow. <laughs> Is that your funny bones? Uh -huh. It was very humorous indeed. <laughs> I love what you can smell it. Mm. Heaven. I'm going to have some happy neighbours today because they're going to get some cake. Nice. I think there'll be plenty left over. That's if Dan has it. Not if Dan has anything to do with it, like. Well, I'm not this is his favourite cake. Is it Dan's favourite? Isn't it? It's my favourite. Dan, is this your favourite cake? Yeah. Is it? You didn't want any yesterday when it was out of the oven. <laughs> it's one of them. One of them. <laughs> it's like 80 of them. Dan was like one of them then. What's your favourite cake though? Cheesecake. Oh yeah. Maybe peanut I mean, butter cheesecake to be precise. Never run a black forest gatto would probably be good too. I've never made a black forest gatto before ever. Anything with dark cherry, dark chocolate. Uh, mm, I might nice. have to do that for a treat for you sometime. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man, gonna have. It's all about it's all about peanut butter cheesecake. You know what's gonna happen there, don't you? With a scoop Every ice week he's been like, do you want to make that cake for us? <laughs> well, that's how you made us that cake, like, it's kind of good. Work. No, do you want to make, do you think you have time to make that cake with me? Oh, I think we should get us, uh, reduced. Yeah, I think we should get us, uh, reduced. I think we should get a separate video where Dan makes a black forest cattle. <laughs> yes! Right. So, I've got more zest on the bench. How did that happen? So, two lemon zests. If you were doing it, I'd put one and a half in. Or just just for some mixtures. Oh, I'll use little lemons, you could do it like that. Again, quantity, bubble up a little bit. Alright, so now that that's mixed and I made a mess. So you say she in. uses a nutmeg grater for the zest thing? Yeah, that would work. I've got a, the, the best little great I, I had um, was out of a Christmas cracker. It was this big. Yeah. Uh, do you remember it? I, I, yeah. I used it for ages and it, 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 it broke in. It did bro it broke in. It, it broke in. <laughs> it broke in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my brain doesn't work at the moment. But yeah, it was probably the cheapest one, but it was the most effective. And it never went all over the bench like this. Yes. Boys. yes. Unbelievable. It's part of my breakfast. I already stole one of your bananas. <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> Charlotte wants here from doing a live stream of a uh, cheesecake, lemon preferably. Mm. I think I'm behind the camera. I think I'm going to make a cheesecake. Make a cheesecake. The thing is, Charlotte, if I let these men loose in my kitchen, it won't be tidy. It's going to be a steak and a half. The food will be nice, but the, the actual 
a kitchen will be a disaster area. There'll probably be a little bit more sugar and chocolate and whatever. A little bit more, not there'll be a lot more. Oh, someone's come to say hello. There you go, look. Who's this? Hello, mate. No, off the bench. <laughs> He hello, what do you mean hello? I've just come to eat everything. Oh, he's just, go, he's just doing the loop. He wants to go outside, which is really. This is going to go in the oven. I'm going to put it on for 45 minutes initially. And then I think that will still need a little bit more than that anyway. Because it's going to be quite a big one. I'll put it on for 45 and then we'll check it. So I'll quickly clean it up. Here goes with the thirst. Look at that tail, man. Look at it go. Cool. <laughs> I don't know if the mic's picking that up, to be honest, but I hope so. Hey. So I don't know if the mic's picking that up, to be honest, but I hope so. <laughs> Slurp, 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 slurp. No, Good lad. Where's Miss Grey? Uh, there. Thank you. We have a night. Is it picking it up? <laughs> is it? He gives himself a, he's a dead giveaway when he's having a drink like. <laughs> he thirsty, son. Oh, right, so we're going to leave those lemons because we're going to need them for the drizzle. We need the sugar out for the drizzle, so I'll leave them out and I'm going to start making up. Um, all the ingredients that are going to go into this um, fajita bowl. Enjoy that. That was very nice, yeah. If it tastes as good cooked as it does raw, I'll be impressed. <laughs> all right, can you clean the All the bowls in the cupboard. So if I just make up all the different bowls so you can see everything we've got and then it's going to be easy for me just to make up these my chicken bowls there and what, what I'll do just because it's all, I, you know the deliveries are all over the place today um, if you need to heat it up again one of the containers will be what you would heat up and the other one um, Don't put the foil in the microwave No, no, you have to put it in a, put on a plate and in the bowl yeah. Oh, you can put it in the oven. I should really put the lights on. Hmm. No, we'll do that in a bit. We've got time, haven't we? We've got time. We'll, we'll do some chopping first because I think this will take a while. A lot of chopping. I'm going to make everything nice and small. Oh, looks a bit big for that. I'm going to eat the ones. I'm going to use that for something else. Right, so I've green peppers.
you, Dan. I just noticed Charlotte's first comment from ages ago said she tried to make orange truffles but um, put lemon instead of fat too much and they were rank. <laughs> oh, it'd be very, very sticky if you did that, Charlotte. Nice yeah, learned. a little bit at a time when you're adding your liquid. It's quite messy making those truffles as well, it does tend to go everywhere. Didn't you make them when they were all right though, Charlotte? I'm sure you made the truffles once when they, uh, they turned out nice. Thank you, Bob. Or was it so? One of these made them, I think. But if you do recreate any of the recipes or you do anything off our craft channel, please send us a picture. Just or a video. Can, or a video if you can be bothered yeah, to do that, yeah. all adds together for feedback for us. Looks nice and colourful, doesn't it? Like the traffic light system. Right, so how's that? Okay. So big tomatoes is what you need to use for this. So what I need to do is remove the centre. So I don't want a lot of liquid in this. So I'll just chop round the sides and then I'm going to take the other two sides off. And then I'm just going to the bin. Ah! I'll eat that. You're going to eat all of these? Yes, of course. Can I be chopping that away, man? Oh my god, there's loads though. I don't like the middle bit anyway. Why is that? Middle of the tomato. <coughs> That's where all the goodness is. I don't like that. Get all the vitamins off. We can have all the vitamins today. You be a baby used to, aren't you? When it comes to food. No, I would eat them if it was in like, I would mix them into stuff, I just kind of eat it like that. Would you make a vomit noise if someone made you eat it like no. you used to? <laughs> I wouldn't do that, because that's very childish. It is, isn't it? You wouldn't even eat butter on wheat of it too. <laughs> oh yeah, he's one fire. So, I was telling Nana that I'm, I'm enjoying wheat of at the moment, and um, she went, oh, I can only eat wheat of if I put butter on top. Then I did make that noise. Yeah. Oh, Nana. That's a bit weird. It's probably easier than I had to. She doesn't like them soggy. She doesn't like to put milk right. on. So just but a little bit of butter. Butter? She eats it like a cracker. Okay. Has anybody else tried that? Was I mean, I'm just a bit strange. <laughs> See, like chocolate spread, maybe could have got away with. Don't butter. Know, don't butter. know if I'd go with butter. Has anyone tried that? <laughs> 
Might be a done thing, you never know. You, you don't know. I'm, I could be judging me nana here and it might be the way forward. Wait, wait, mm. it's something I really want to try though. It it's just doesn't sound appealing. Mm. There you go then. All that vitamins that you try to waste there, man. No, it just doesn't go in this because it would make it all liquidy. I've brought all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to eat them all. Right, what, are them as well? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I can't eat all of them, I'll be sick. No. It's the I just them, I might put them in my dinner. I've got, um, I've got tuna and rice today. Oh, well, I might go. drop some tomatoes in as well, that'll be nice. As soon as you two are just look like a tomato. Root to tomatoes. No, I could have put them in I'm sure. later, but it's just, it doesn't go with this dish at all. Gary's in now to... Hi! Morning. Save them. Save, Save the tomatoes. Do you want that bit as well? No. That's that's where I draw the line of tomatoes, eating the light like, vine bit. Sh Charlotte did make the orange one successfully. I thought you did. I thought you did. Ones, it didn't work. Ah, okay. Got a bit carried away with the lemon, yeah? <laughs> Charlotte said she hasn't tried the weed a bit, but her weird thing is ketchup on pasta. <laughs> oh, I suppose Charlotte, you get no. tomato, tomato, so, like, tomato based sauces, don't you, for pasta? Gravy. So. Pasta gravy sauce. Don't let, don't let Lisa Surprise. Miller hear yeah, you say about ketchup on pasta like her. She'll, yeah. she'll flip out. She'll not be happy with that. <laughs> I know people who put ketchup on the Sunday dinner though, which is always I used to do that. sort of freaked me out a bit. <laughs> I did mm. used to do that. <laughs> no. no, it's mint sauce. Mint, yeah, mint sauce, that's what it's all about. Okay. Maybe maybe some mustard if, if you want. You can get by with that also. I really like the yellow ones too. They're all yellow. No, but yellow mustard. Yellow. Ah, taste. Not the Dijon and the others. English mustard mm. is the best mustard. It's very Whole strong. grain, quite nice. Oh, that was a squelchy one. Uh, Les is in. She's piped oh, up. No, no. Oh, Lisa, no. Charlotte, you, meant, you, mentioned, you mentioned tomato sauce on pasta and you summoned her from like <laughs> the gate of hell or whatever. <laughs> just, yeah, she's just over and away from you. You what? Slumber. <laughs> <laughs> You've done Hi, what? <laughs> oh no. But if the gravy isn't the tomato sauce, it's like. Yeah, what's the Sopranos? I'm, I, I have, but I can't think of what you're talking about. Polly Walnuts always calls it the gravy. Right. I must have missed that bit, to be honest. It's not actual gravy. <laughs> Polly Walnuts, man. Good lad. Sue says down south to put them in sauce on kebabs. With chili and garlic. Is that like a yogurt and mint sauce, though? Well, that wouldn't make sense. Because mint sauce is... Uh, we're on about is different. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting a bit of a floody mess here. I need to maybe wipe the board down. They've been rescued. <laughs> rescued from the bin. I'm going in your bin. Yeah, in my my body. <laughs> Oh, 
think I need a bigger bowl for these. I might just use the one tub. There's a lot of tomatoes like, and the beans. Yeah, but you've got to think, um, I've got 12 meals to go on. 10, 12 meals to go on. So now I was up after our delivery driver. <laughs> Whoa! Steady on now. Nearly lost into the bin. No, Sue, Sue meant the, what you put with roast lamb, so she didn't mean that. Oh, really? Yeah. You meant kebab? She, oh. she said that they do, do that down south, I'm not sure where she's doing it. But, yeah. Down south, like, takeaway wise, is a bit strange. Like, they've never heard of like chips and gravy. No, that's the main thing. <laughs> and yeah, they don't really have garlic sauce all that often either. From, or from a fish lot. Mm. So you can get fish and chips, but if you went to yeah. Moscow, fish lot. You get a funny look. But then you can go down in the northwest and ask for a bomb cake, you know, like <laughs> a what? <laughs> oh yeah. <coughs> bomb cake. Bomb cake. Right, I am gonna quickly wipe the board because it's really yeah, yeah. away. That's again because of Lisa. You come in and then you've got all that all over. Yeah, it is. Stuff like that happens. It's easy going. Right, I'm Birmingham, she said. Birmingham. Then again, you're a bit of a dodge pot when it comes to sauces, like, because you have salad cream on your mind. Pasties and vinegar. Yeah. Salt and vinegar goes there. Even Lisa Miller agrees with no, that. Salt and vinegar on a pasta. Yeah, yeah but Lisa I'm Miller not talking like a little bit. I'm talking out of the bottle and it swims in the bottom. And then after, he'll drink it. No, it's sauce on a pasta or a pie. Always if you've got the sauce. red or brown. Go on me dinner, man. Not wasting them. Get them down, yeah? No. Okay, so I think it's doing all right. This, that's probably the only thing in the world ever I'm going to agree with Lisa Miller on. What? Something vinegar or pasty. Can I abide that way? Well, has anybody had butter on a weight of it? Not yet. Yeah. James is in now, James, wait. Hey James, James. You're going to be trying some new food today, my friend. Give it a try though. What about our, um, we've got a, a friend and colleague whose favourite food is a steak pie sandwich. Mm. Oh yeah. With two slices of processed Pro cheese. Two slices of processed cheese, two slices of white bread. Yeah. Pl and has to be white bread. Or brown sauce. Yeah. One or the other. <laughs> Depending on the mood. I believe it's white bread, processed cheese, full steak pie. Processed cheese, sauce, bread. I think that's the, I think that's that's the, the, correct. the correct order. I got it wrong before and he wasn't happy. Yeah. He's a doctor as well. Doctor. Oh, he is. Dr. John Moore. Doctor as well. Not a medical doctor, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, pass some blue more, please. It's not as uncommon as I first thought though, steak pie sandwiches and that. Like I'm sure loads of people I have think them. I need a bit more in there, you know. I don't know if I've got a couple more 
Yeah, I want the middle one to be an assist. But I need them. Charlotte does homemade pizza with studies. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's good. Have you try. tried it with a, a baguette, Charlotte? Like cutting a baguette in half. You can or make garlic bread. You yeah. Can you can make garlic Any bread that way, though. Bread really works well. No, it, just, it, it works quite well if, you, if it's just. You don't end up with too much with a baguette. <laughs> Whereas Gary's if you do it with a naan bread, it's massive. <laughs> it's like... Gary's just tried uh, wheat of with butter and he doesn't recommend it. You know what you're having? And he's what? He's, he doesn't recommend it. Okay, Gary, what are you playing with? I didn't mean to go and do it now. That's well, alright, it's an alright clip. He put it out there, he, tried, yeah. he took one for the team. Oh, and, uh, Gary. <laughs> did you finish it? Or did you just have one bite and we're like, nah, I'm done? <laughs> I'll let me nana know. <laughs> I have to agree with Joey, he says everything tastes better in a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, okay. In, in, usually it does. Crisps, crisp sandwich, highly recommend. Um, I don't know what, what else, what else shouldn't go in a sandwich but does. I think you can put anything in, like even just a cheese sandwich, that'll do. Probably not a tomato middle sandwich, that, I, I probably wouldn't put that in a sandwich. Wait, a big sandwich? Yeah, butter. Plenty of butter on that. Gary said he managed half. Okay. Oh, Gary, just put it down. Yeah. It's not nice. Oh. It's like one of their meals, you know, like the, the, oh, cra the crazy funny. people who like go hiking in Antarctica and that. Like that's something they would have for breakfast. It's just got loads of fat and carbs in it. And that's all you need. Say, like, oh yeah, I just had half a stick of butter and like two wheat of it. Eating for a purpose and not for taste. Yeah. Not for pleasure. Like if you were oh, he's a good one. Like, oh, no. Oh, no. Charlotte. Not ready. A rice sandwich. <laughs> now, I've heard of a pot, I've heard of a pot noodle sandwich and that. Yeah. And like a, or a super noodle sandwich, but never a, a rice sandwich. How does it even stay in the bread? Yeah. Well, we you just got to like grip it. Really well, it's not <laughs> just like hold really on to it like this. Miles away from a burrito, really. With yeah, I suppose you're right. It's yeah. just got other stuff in. But at least in a burrito, it's all like folded, so it doesn't fall out. Right, I'm hoping that'll be enough, because I might have to make some more of this later. So, what I was making here is, it's like what you would put on bruschetta, so it's oh. going to be red on it, well, red on here, and I'm putting up like white on here, but I'm putting red in today. Um, chopped tomatoes, but I've took the middle out, if I hate them. Save them from the bin. And then a little bit of olive oil, mix it together, maybe salt and pepper. That's just going to go into your, your salad bowl a bit. We've got curry and rice sandwich, fish finger mm -hmm. sandwiches. Fish fingers for sure, definitely. Chip buddy, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a confession to me. Oh no. No. Please. Last week, um, I've been putting little bits of leftover curry and stuff in the freezer after making meals, and I had some of the Indian curry left over. Mm -hmm. and I thought, oh, I'll, I'll have that. So. I hated it up, but then I totally forgot to make anything with it. So I was like, oh, can I just have it on its own? So I had it on toast. Curry on toast. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah. I quite enjoyed it, actually. So there you go. Sure. Maybe one would probably do it, but we'll see how we go. I think t a toast sandwich is a thing as well, I'm sure. I'm sure someone was telling us about having <laughs> a toast sandwich. It was Daniel, actually. And then he sent us a link and it's actually a thing, like there's even a there's recipe. a slice on. of bread in between two slices of toasted bread. I, I can't remember which way around it was. I can't remember if the two bread, two on the outside were toasted or they were still bread and toast was in the middle. I think it's that. I think it's bread, toast, bread. It was disgusting. It was like an actual recipe on BBC Good Food or whatever, like for a perfect toast sandwich. And I was like, oh, great. Do you think we should start a new internet trend? Charlotte's made a good point. Well, we the bits and butter challenge. Oh. oh no. Could be viral. What is in your catch then? Yeah. No, oh, okay. Then we'll have me nana on enjoy, you know. Uh. Gary said that the bean toasty is the weirdest thing he's had. That, oh that's, that's quite common. <laughs> they're called beanies. Cheese. Yeah. Sausage, bean and cheese milk from Greg's is where Beanies. it's at. Right? So the onions need to be chopped really, really fine. And then they, they go into this mix as well. Why not crying for? Because it's not a large onion. Oh. I think it's the big white one, so I get it. 
doesn't even smell as strong. The other one I hit is as soon as I took the skin off. So is it the skin to lie? Hit me in the face. Jeez. It's like a defense mechanism, I think. Yeah. That's why chilies are spicy. It's supposed to deter you from eating them, but like nobody takes any notice. <laughs> Brush your system out. <laughs> Get all them toxins out your eyes, man. Should have put these on a plate. This is why I use a plate. Wib's got me using my bone all the time now, and this makes it harder. I'm crying. I'm crying. Okay there until you said. Mm-hmm. That's how science works, mm. my fault. Wasn't even in me head. I might have got away with that. Nah, I mean you just gold case I needed more <laughs> but we might not need those as well they just need draining and that needs chopping up which I'll do last minute that needs great now if I'm going to get the rice on so I'm going to put it in the background things will speed up there so what I think I'll do I'll so I need to get washed up a little bit and get it sorted out I'll put the rice on I'll get the uh, corn chicken out, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that first and then we'll take a break while that's cooking off. for vegetarians on this course because we have got a few veggies. Word says never... use your plate if you must know. Thanks Wade. Can you see I'm getting a little bit stressed about it all there. Yeah? <laughs> That's the chicken in there that'll just need to be toasted off. I'm going to put some rice in here. Balsamic rice. Balsamic. <laughs> I'm just saying, I just said that last time. Please. See, just checking, awake, just checking these are awake, lads. Just checking these are awake. Using bolty rice. Bolty rice. 
Apparently, I'm far over there. Oh, maybe a little bit bigger. We're <laughs> gonna oh. really get one grain out of there. <laughs> So if you, if you spill any Charlotte Lab on a sandwich anyway, it's I know, right. Charlotte, we might have to send you a sandwich of rice over later. Hey, dear me. I don't need loads because we've got loads of this stuff to do. Here. It's for Charlotte. <laughs> that is good. I don't need to use all that. your rice instructions when you cook in the rice. This one needs about 10 or 12 minutes once it's um, boiling. Tablespoon, obviously, we can put more in if we don't need to later. And what I think I'll do is get some of these drained and just put them in the bowl. beans are. I'm going to mix these in with the rice once the rice is cooked. So in the frying pan is um, corn chicken. Obviously, if you're not veggie, you could use um, like the real stuff if you want to. But I, I was just saying before, it's a really good alternative. Actually, you would never even know that it wasn't real chicken. Yeah, those chicken pieces are pretty good. They are really good. If you've never tried all the different corn range, I would recommend just giving it a go because you'd be surprised at how healthy it is and it's cheap as well. Sue says when she does her rice, it's one she does one cup of rice, three cups of water, a bit of salt in ten minutes, and it's perfectly done. Yeah, I think it depends which rice you use. Because if you use like long green, that like, it would do a different other. That's not it. Oh, 
some cookie flour out of the heat of spice for the nice defrost of the leaf. This is the magic ingredient today though. See that? Some fajita season, I yeah. can't focus on that. Why are you not in focus? There, there you go. go. Fajita. That's the magic ingredient that's going to go in with the chicken and the rice. Definitely. Thank you. So what I'm going to do while the rice is on, while the chicken's on, I'm not really going to do anything else when you come back anyway, um, other than maybe drain a few more of the tins off. Um, we'll take a 10 minute break and we'll, we'll come back, yeah, about 10 minutes. Um, and we'll answer any questions, obviously Dan's still in the chat there, so he's still live. Um, but yeah, we'll take a break just to tidy up a little bit, because I need quite a few of the things that are dirty um, for the next part. Alright, so we'll see you in 10 minutes. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> This was just part of
There you go. Hi. And right, we're back. You're back. So the chicken is cooked, the rice is just being drained. Well into it, truly drained. I'm just going to put in a few tablespoons of this into the chicken. Um, and I'm going to mix it all up. That's it for heat and mix, yeah? For heat and mix, yeah. This is the magic ingredient. So I'm going to do. I always think it's cheaper to get the little tub of it than get the packets, because you could get the packets. You can also make your own up if you want to. But that's just easier, that was like a pound. Um, I need to put a little bit of water in. And then I'll just let that cook. I'll just give it a bit of flavour, quite nice. It's not too spicy this as well, it's just gives it that taste. Makes it taste like Mexican food. Do this loads of different ways. You could even add onions in here, you could put your peppers in here if you want to do. But I'm just going to keep it plain because I've already got loads of other things chopped up to go in other parts of the dish. Alright, so I'm just going to leave that to sit a little bit. Put a little bit more water in. Well, just about the way. Just allows all of the, um, of the heat of mix just to absorb. On. So the rice has just been drained there like two minutes ago. Nearly took it all down the sink, but we managed to get it at the sink eventually. Nearly, Nearly. Sorry, didn't man. happen. Could have easily though. That's um. life without a little bit of risk and danger. <laughs> Boring, that's what. So I think you were saying she was looking all the cracks. Who's that? Vicky. Oh, brilliant. Vicky, if you make anything off our craft channel, please send us a picture because we're, we're going to build a bit of a portfolio of everybody's work, so it's quite good if we have everybody's input. Also, thanks, we've, we've given uh, Darren Hatham a shout out for all the help. Yes. <laughs> yes, we Good lad. I'm putting the black beans in with the rice. So it was that I might have missed what it was about, but she asked what flavour that was. Fajita. A fajita mix. A fajita. Oh, Vicky already explained it. Lynn's asking if there's any flavour to the corn stuff or similar to tofu. It actually tastes like chicken. But with any corn stuff, it's when it's seasoned it is much better yeah I, I wouldn't just have it on its own like i'm not ignoring you i'm going to put the rice in the bowl because you can't really mix it in that pan it's too full there's the bowl i'm looking for the other one right oh please don't go everywhere in there in the rice. So what I'm going to do, this is your hot dish all right, so this will go in and it will be half and half with the chicken all right, so you've got a little bit of chicken, a little bit of rice, that will go in one of these foil trays, however when you get it to your house, if you're on delivery, don't be putting this in the microwave, it can go in your oven or you can put whatever's in here in, onto a microwave plate or bowl and heat it up that way all right, so you're going to have one dish that you'd heat up 
the other will be all of the, the dry stuff. And what, what you're going to do, you're going to get a fajita wrap um, and you'll be able to wrap everything up into the, into the wrap or put in whatever ingredients you want and eat the rest on its own. Not your right, Stone. Well, it's asking if the vagina, vagina mix is spicy. Not really. No, it's quite mild. It's got a little bit of spice, but it's nothing that'll blow your head off. Promise. <laughs> but what you could do with this, you could put sweet corn in, and you could put your peppers in, you could have had onions in there and your rice. I'm just doing it with the beans today, all right, just to get a little bit of goodness in there. It's a bit more protein if you've got beans in there as well. So before, I don't know if you heard, this did beef. So this is how I check it's cooked. Comes out clean, all right, so it's definitely done. Turn that on. The beans will dry to each other. Otherwise it'll burn me out. Buy some oven gloves, like. Oh no, you're not really. Or just a mitt, you can get like that where it's just one. <laughs> the Thanos power glove. That's this rice. That's just plain rice, I didn't quite get any seasoning. <laughs> out all of the other bits so all I left out before for that was the lemons and the sugar so you need one and a half lemon juice and I think it's 85 grams of the sugar it's on the will be on the recipe once we get around to posting that um, it'll go the, the, the recipe will go underneath the video in the description yeah um, so if you are looking for that just come check back in a couple of days it'll be in the um, the Mel's Kitchen playlist, yeah. and it'll be the latest video in there. So I'm just quickly going around the outside there, just to loosen it off. Around the outside, round around the, the outside. outside. Where have I put my little jug? Oh, it's on the drain there. Eh? I need this. I need me sieve. Oh, it's all washed and clean, with a few soap suds left on, lovely. Perfect. So, because I know there's pips in these, it's a good idea to use a sieve. Use that. It's got the heater mix on it. <laughs> you don't want the heater in your lemon drizzle. All right. So you squeeze that out. You can use a juicer if you've got one. I need to use both hands on this one on the sieve, one on the top. I'm just going to use my fingers and squash it all. Yeah, there's quite a few pips come out of that one. I'm going to put two whole lemons in just because, again, it's a bigger key. We don't have to worry about it cooling down because I did make one earlier. So I'm already going to be chopped up and sent out so we're good for that. Got to get organised otherwise I'll be here all day. So there's a lot of vitamin C in this in the actual drizzle then? Yeah a lot of sugar as well though. Yeah. The lemon drizzle is your naughty bit of the recipe I've got to admit it's not it's not healthy it's just cheap to make. <laughs> Flour, butter, eggs, lemon. lemon. <laughs> And sugar. <laughs> and sugar. Always, always sugar. The good thing is you use all the lemon, you're using the zest and the juice, so it's, it's nothing gets wasted. Can make a Victoria sponge, could you, Elise? Yes. <laughs> I guess so. We're we'll having that chat again. Make whatever you want. So 
Looks like we've got our next lottery course sorted here. Oh, there's what's a, there's that? There's at least six people asking for photography related, so... Oh, cool. Have you put a question out there, Joe? Yeah, I assume we, uh, we wouldn't do the budget in, but there's a massive... Just about everybody saying they'd be interested. Oh, God. Anything specific you'd like to see on the Arts and Crafts channel instead of just Arts and Crafts generally, just let us know as well. And we can look at that. If there's anything Art and Crafty you'd like to see, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Please One thing that. I am going to have a go at, um, and I have had a little try, um, it's called quilling and it's paper curling, so you, you might be able to make like a butterfly and put it on a card or a flower and put it on a card um, so it can make I think some I showed cards. it on um, Staying Connected on yeah, so Wednesday. Yeah, I think you did. Week. I think you did show it. I'm not even going to wear this. I just know that once it creeps through the top of the jibs, it's got enough in. lemon drizzle is to get this mixture on top so the sugar and the lemon get it on top of the cake while it's still hot try and cover the whole side what you can do as well use a fork or use a kebab skewer if you just put little holes in little product it'll, it'll absorb all the juice and make it a really good sticky lemon drizzle so keep stirring it when you put it on because the sugar in the lemon doesn't always blend that easy. Just try and cover the whole cake with it. This is what gives it all its flavour at the end. And it should go down the sides because I've already used a knife to separate uh, the tin and the cake. So it should go down the side, drip down. Drizzle down. Drizzle down. Yeah. All about the drizzle. Once you know you've been round the whole cake, you can either just go round it again, or you can just score. Like so. And that will get you. That will be at least twelve portions there. I'm getting a look off here from again. No, I agree. <laughs> I would probably you know I would eat all 12 of them, probably. Everything in moderation. But you split it up. <laughs> so don't, don't do it all at once. What I'm going to do now is split this outside of my tin. Do the twist. And that should just lift off. There it is. Oh, what do you mean? There you go. Lovely. I don't know what this means, but Sue's mentioning tote bags with embroidery. Oh, like a little tote bag. bags, like a just a little bag, isn't it? Like a like a canvas bag. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna move this kick out of the way. That's why my pizza tree is out. Cookie's got some good ones. Jewelry making with sea glass, or rocks from the beach, or a scarecrow. <laughs> ah, I'll a try. Scarecrow. Yeah, make I could scarecrow. try and make some jewelry at some point, but I mean, card making. Card de making definitely is on my. Um, definitely What's decoupage again? I can't remember. I've, I've definitely heard of it, but I can't remember what it is. Leaving at the curl. This is the only cake that I wouldn't really want to lift out and put on a, a curling rack, just because it needs to keep sorting those juices. So I'm best off just leaving it. Open in them. Need one on earlier. So when it dries out, oh. you can see the sugar coat on the top. So that will all get sliced up in there and then put bits of foil. And then into someone's belly. Yeah. Hopefully mine. Add decorating uh, things with paper cutouts. Right. Okay.
There's a piece I tried earlier. <laughs> Got him. Quick sip of tea, chef needs a, a hydration moment. Do you know what's happened to me washing wash up at the day? It's cold, man. It's frozen in place. Look at him. Has it moved in now? It's like a statue. Oh! The hot is going to do a caveman scarecrow. Can you wash all these things? The hat under the hood's a good look, mine. I'm cold. I'm bold. It's very pointy. <laughs> Just to let it, yeah, it is. What about a beginner's guide to gardening? I wonder who could take that one. Uh, I don't you? want to be involved with any of that. Like, no comment. Lisa is your person, obviously. You want a, you want a good bedtime story, guy? It's kind of good, like. How to plant 10, 12 trees or 15? If you've got 17 trees, you have eight trees in there. 10, 12, I've got five trees in here. How do 20,000 stuff? 10,000 Got that word stuck in my head, Matt. Decoupage. Sounds very cool. So guys, any of you that um, have any requests but don't think of them in when in this chat right now, get in touch with Sue because she's our one of our representatives on the steering group to uh, put forward ideas for future courses for the next year year to 18 months um, that we've got some funding through the National Lottery Community Fund so anything wild and wacky like scarecrow making or whatever just put it put it out there we might be able to do some we might not be able to do others but we can definitely look into the ones that we can't do and try and find you something um, so yeah just anything stick it out there you know what we're good at and you can probably guess other things that we might be able to do as well Do a washing up course. You need to go on one. I need to go on one. Alright, 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 alright. If you sing it's easier. A root two, two, five, one, two. Clean the room. Alright, take it off. Alright, alright, alright. Did you guys see our big delivery from, um, from someone a couple of Fridays ago? Check out the video, it's very uh, lots of things in our building now. That's on Facebook, not YouTube. Yes, Facebook, not YouTube. Oh, um, we've just mentioned before I started to wash the pots that he is very interested in your animation video here. Imagine if he knows it's out there yet, so plug it. Session one was not last week but the week before, but session that was like an introduction. Um, if you haven't seen that one, it's 
in a playlist called Animation Tutorials, I believe, on YouTube. The second one is this Friday. I do need to grab, like, some of the guys who are there, I need to grab some information off you because I haven't done any of the enrollment stuff yet, but I've got your email addresses, so I will follow up with that. If anyone is interested, um, give me a shout. We're going to look at some motion tracking on Friday, and if you don't know what that means, don't worry. I will explain in full and possibly quite complicated detail, but I will, I'll go very slowly and we'll all, we'll all get there. It's good, it's cool. Sounds good. It's tracking objects See, in footage and, and replacing like... Well, I should go on your call. The one that I'm going to try and do on Friday is take some footage of like a moving vehicle and overlay something on it, but I will, all will, all will become apparent mm -hmm. on Friday. And it's using Hit Film Express as well. If anyone's not got that downloaded and wants to do it, it's free. If you can't work it out, just send me an email. It's pretty straightforward to download. Yes. <laughs> or I might have some. I might not, I might not even cookies. I mean, I might, right. I might just, as always, I've brought, I've brought me dinner because <laughs> I don't leave the house without food very often. Just in case. Matthew's in the chat now as well. Morning. Charlotte said she's got the touch of death when oh. it comes to plants and flowers. <laughs> See him, Charlotte. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I'll just pull a bit in from there. I might have to cook up another. What time? Uh, Wood's asking, I think he's asking about the animation course. 10 o'clock Friday, 10 to 12. And there'll be five sessions of that in total. Um, I think the last one is going to be a bit of like a recap slash re-explaining so session five of that one is going to be anything i missed or anything you didn't quite understand i don't mind taking you know a little bit of time to go back over some stuff in that one um, but i've got pretty much for all of them stuff planned i know i've had a few requests for specific things like animating maps and, and point to point things so i'm going to try and work some of that in as well you just want to make someone's video yeah pretty much <laughs> <laughs> Pass it off as your own. Might as well. Okay. That's how you do it, how you make the money, man. Vicky said as well, rock art in picture frames. Yeah. Rock oh, art. that sounds good. So like, yeah, I mean, like, made, like, frame. like made, <laughs> made out of rocks? Like or? the frame could be made out of rocks. You like your rocks, Vicky? I think that's what you might mean. What about like a picture of the Rolling Stones just in a frame? Uh, Will that do? That's the best I can do, unfortunately. Think you have a little rock chick. Sorry, but we're not having any of this. We're gonna just have salad and rice with ours. I think the understand about the game. Did you hear that? Is it a plane? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I thought it was thunder. Vicky's going to make one this week, so or starting one this week. So Vicky, send us some pictures when it's done. Let us know what Even it's like. How it a before and after would be quite good. If you can lay out all the stuff you're going to use, take a picture of that, and then send us the a picture of the end product. That would be quite cool. This is your hot plate. Bowl dish. Bowl dish, whatever you want to call it. These can be heated up. Not in the microwave. Not, yeah, because the foil will just ruin your microwave. It'll blow up, I think, to be honest. It will. Is that a myth? Shall we, t shall we do a test? No, you got an old microwave you don't want. Can we do yeah, like a can we do like a brainiac thing yeah. where we just like do stupid stuff that's, that makes no sense? That's what we used to do, not me. Do you know we can get that funded, or is that like pushing the boundaries? It's science, yeah, science. technically. <laughs> Mel's not impressed. Just ignore it now. But we just get we basically get to blow up a bunch of stuff. That'd be cool. If anyone used to watch brainiac, that's what they used to do. 
Like the mint in cork. Yeah, yeah stuff like that. Right? Was, uh, so it, was there not a new viral thing about a beer? And you drop a bit and you're smashing people in the face or something? Well, it, the old one is if you have like a bottle of beer and someone taps the top with their no, bottle. That's, that, yeah, that's an old thing. Yeah. There's something being going around. Uh, well, like you drop it in it. And it's it, like, like bounces. Smashing yeah, like yeah. The chin and that. I seen one of the formula, I know it was the, um, it was the motorbike, the MotoGP the on the bikes. They dropped a bottle of champagne and he tried to do that and it just shattered everywhere. That was that was yesterday. So don't drop your don't drop your champagne on the floor. Is the moral of that story? Or just don't drink champagne. It's yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? Even when they try and like spruce it's it up, it's like a little they put like a strawberry in it, and I'm like, well, I don't it's still horrible. Get the champagne at all? I think it's so. Everybody it. on the stream. On this side of the stream is not a fan of champagne. What about you guys in the chat? <laughs> I'm not posh enough to drink champagne. No, Come on. I, I think I've only really had it at people's weddings. Yeah. Or it's not something I'd go buy ever. To be honest, my taste in alcohol is not the best. I don't. Really, I hate wine. Um, <laughs> like whiskey. That's about it. <laughs> and beer. Right, I need a pen so I can write hot. Matthew's asking what you're going to blow up here, Nathan. Yeah, whatever I feel like, just, you know. He's going to go boom, boom, taste. Can you pass me like, a pen I'm the explosives the expert, so. We'll see. I think we'll start with a microwave if we can. I know Tokyo would classically blow up um, caravans. So maybe you can get a cheap caravan and There used to be one around the back of it. Uh, I think there was someone living in that room. On holiday. In the back of Norwich in, Street. In, in, in Hendon. <laughs> oh my god. Loving, loving life. Some people would do end. anything. Well, uh, you know. You know how it is. You might as well get a real job if you're gonna yeah. Make money that way. Street right. Gary said he's more of a whiskey person. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna write hot. Bourbon or, or scotch? It's a big question. Hot. She's she's H for hot, right? Scotch. So when these meals come out, this is the one you can heat up. I thought they were all for me. <laughs> With like sweet, sweet Asti. I don't know what that is. Vicky doesn't like drinking all because she ends up with a three day hangover. Yeah. Hang with you there, Vicky. Yeah. It's not big enough, Trevor. Nope. And Charlotte sometimes likes a whiskey in the name. Ooh. Ella likes stuff like that. I've started drinking it, a uh, whiskey neat now though, because that's Is like Ella how, you're supposed, how you're supposed to drink it. Yeah. So, yeah. Ella drinks whiskey, what you can it say? The and wine. the lager. That was a wine. No, it was, was um, it wine? It was out, out, out of date it was, as well, to be fair, man. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the best. Hey. I had one, like half a glass of it, and uh, I didn't feel too great either, to be honest. So when we had our celebration event for the work we did at St. Benedict's last October, and um, the hotel was selling bottles of red wine. It's a, ho it's a posh expensive, hotel as well, man. The hotel <laughs> used to be the Marriott. Yeah. For five pounds a bottle, so you knew there was something Summit, not going to be. Oh, I need to buy It's all about a glass of bourbon with a couple of ice cubes in it. Oh, that's where it's at. Bourbon, yeah. Um, if you wish. That's fine. I will. <laughs> I get ignored anyway. Exactly. <coughs> You're used to it now. I'm used to it. I get ignored all the time. I just want something out and put this in. Yeah, I'm just start dishing everything. There. No, that's not the look, that's not 
Uh, you cut the cake. Ah, see, it's used for everything. I'll give it a wash. That's really nice. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. I need a bowl. <laughs> the big bowl as well. A serving bowl. Yeah. That's what I normally have my salads out. Oh, I love big. I love a big bowl. Yeah. Like you just have everything in together. Grab it at home, like if you eat, you wouldn't mind. I tolerate it. That's, that's all I'll say about lettuce. You need just a little bit of balsamic vinegar on. Is that the go with your balsamic rice? Mm hmm. The sticky one, it's better. Right. Is lettuce one of those things where it's like negative calories when you eat it? There's hardly like, any. Like celery. It's <laughs> Probably because there's hardly yet. Well, it's, it's just water. I think by the time you you've chewed it, and then the, your body takes the time to digest it, I think you you've, you're in negative negative equity. Yeah, it's not. It takes more calories to digest celery. We're not trying to eat celery though. Talk about lettuce. And I said, is it like celery? And I imagine it is because it's just crunchy water. And you can tell by the disdain that I said that with that I don't really like lettuce. <laughs> Dan, do you want a job in the kitchen? Yeah, this is glush. Just not rockets. Rockets like 20 times better than lettuce because it actually has flavour. <laughs> rockets awful. It's really not, in my humble opinion. It's a superior leaf to whatever this is. You're going to get grated cheese. I'm going to have to uh, demonstrate, even though I've just washed my hands. Yeah, demonstrate how to wash your hands. Sing happy properly. birthday to yourself. Happy birthday to Dama Early Order. We'll set you up a little space. It's not my birthday, yeah. really. No, but that's the, that's how you keep the time. Great job in there for us. All. Yeah. All. The whole block. Yeah, because then we'll just use what we need to, and the rest can be used on sandwiches later. Do you right. go sandwiches? Do you go to some cheese? Look at the dog cheese, man. Eh? Yeah, I love it, thank you. <laughs> Why? What was the fight? And these what is it? Farts or something. <laughs> do you want to give your dog cheese? No. <laughs> That's awful. You can't give a dog cheese. What do you mean? Of course you do. Did the you vets do? even say you that's one where you know your dog's poo really poorly if they turn down cheese. Oh. It's good if the um not like they're blocks taking of it. tablets, like if you're not just struggling taking tablets, they'll chicken. They'll take it. Give it a chicken. I I don't want the spotlight. No. You need it. With this technique here, man. That's how you that's how you dig it. You gave him the job now. Don't look at him like that. I didn't think it was a job that could go wrong. What? It hasn't gone wrong? It hasn't? I didn't see it. Not yet. Not yet. Rude to me, all of you. So normally, I would just take you just take a bite out of the block, right? Just like one big, off the That's corner. The <laughs> normally. Not today. Not on camera? No. Right, I'm just going to start dishing out, right? So literally, you want a handful of lettuce. 
tackle there at the bottom of each tree. You're going to have so much less left over. Why don't you, you don't, you just not like it for any particular reason. It doesn't have any taste. Yeah, but you mix it's it with stuff. Jam knows now. Yes, it's good for you. What do you mean? It's I've good. Said lettuce. It, like I say, I, I can tolerate it in <laughs> stuff, but it, I wouldn't choose it. It's, it's, I'm the nothing type, about I'm the person whatever. that when you're out for a meal with people and everyone leaves the salad on the plate, I'll finish it all. The thing is, I, I eat the salad if it's got like carrots and onions and stuff in, but if it's just let if it, if they've gone in the bother and just chopped some lettuce up and put on the plate, I'm like, I don't want that. Don't waste me time with that. I'm here for food, not like crunchy water. It's taste. It really isn't. <laughs> I'm willing to, this is the hill I'm willing to die on, lettuce is awful. I, I, come at me everyone in the chat, I really don't care. I will fight. Celery is awful. I, I agree, celery is awful and I wouldn't eat that either. Like when you get chicken wings and they bring out celery, like what are you stuff? doing? That's not chicken. There you go, all gone. Well spread. So now she's about making these balls. With all that cheese, pretty. man, that's what it's about. That's what, that's what we're all about here. We have to leave Can we just applaud Dan Matavelli or whatever and what a fantastic job he's done on grating his cheese? That's a little pyramid. Mm. Exactly, look at that man, that's architecture you just can't, you can't teach that. It just happens. And if you're quiet Dan, you'd get to eat that little bit on the end there. Oh, that's Diago's. Ah, oh, Diago's cheese. Diego. There you go. Do you encourage him on the bench? I'm not going to encourage him on the bench. Hello, son. You're getting some cheese, eh? Good lad. Oh, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> that was like a trick. The trick went wrong. Now, the, from the food. gentle, gentle. In your bed, good yeah. boy. That's enough cheese for one day. So he's going to knock it up and land him on the other <laughs> I was thinking that as soon as he hit his nose, I was like, ah, oh no. First thing to that then. Salad from Malibu? Never had it. Sounds posh. No, no. I should do meals on wheels, shouldn't I? Uh, like, yes. <laughs> without doing it live, though, it's a live bit that's the pressure. What, like a meal prep thing? A hard meal prep. I reckon you could. Cheese, you see how I'm like snarling away. <laughs> Where is my cheese? He is actually looking for something, I think. Alright, these are minutes on three paragraphs yes, about vinaigrette and then. Mm -hmm. I like prosciutto, 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 how do you say that again? Prosciutto. Pros no, prosciutto, the that ham and stuff, and mozzarella, cherry tomatoes, extra virgin olive oil, white wine, side of vinegar. Woo! Love it. Whips it on a curveball, he likes with his iceberg lettuce and celery with his omelette. Look likes the crunch and taste. Oh, you want, both you want spinach in an omelette, man. Bit of spinach. Good for you, strong. That's only if you want to be butch. 
Maybe be some carrots. It's all about carrots, man. You need to vary it up. You get the colour in there. Bit red onions. Orange. Orange and yellow. Tea. Well. Yeah. Red. No. Ow. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna pinch one of them. You can. Any good? Mm. What I like about the pickled ones is that they're not too spicy. Well, the good thing is, if you don't like everything, you can always just pull bits out. Yeah. So. No, but when they when they've been in a jar, they're better. Like the, they're not as spicy. Yeah. Our delivery crew has arrived. Yeah. All right. Hi. Hi. You're taking over from your sister today. <laughs> <laughs> you know the lead delivery or deliverer. Did your dad need any addresses or did he have them all wrote down? Yes. Yes. He's organised. There you go. Get away, away from the food. <laughs> it's like, oh man, I've had some cheese it's now. Stands encouraged him. Uh huh. He's like, oh. Like this, this what else is going yeah, on over here? He's not daft. He's a mix for me earlier. Why is it, is it eating well today? No. Yeah. Look, hey, can't get Diego away. He's been sniffing on the bench. He likes the cheese. Yeah, because you encouraged him up. I didn't encourage him up. Everyone loves Diego, so you're fighting a losing battle there. No, there's only hair in the food. There's no hair in the food. Poor uh, Diego, look at him with his, with his ears pinned back. You're getting wrong, son. Yes. Now we have Polo's coming to <gasps> join the party. Uh oh. oh he so Polo always yeah. gets. Everyone gets bullied in this household, this cat. I know, poor Carlo. Don't you see I have no poor Carlo, you do it. I don't believe you. You're <laughs> outside now. Poor pain. So, is that anything ready to go in for our delivery drivers? Should we put the hot ones in? Well, hang on, because we're eating. No, just wait. Just wait. Yeah, no addresses or anything on them yet, is there? Or names? Yeah. Well. Tell me to just put the camera down and mute it for a bit while yeah. we sort the address. Right, guys, just while we sort the addresses and where everything's going, I'm just going to put the mic on mute so we don't accidentally give any of us dress out. Because that would be a bit of a disaster. We'll leave the camera on so you can right. see some You're delivering in the background. Two, on. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm taking two. Look at that.
<laughs> no. Oh, what's happened? There we go. All right, I think um, the survey got put in at the start, didn't it? I think so, but if it didn't, I'll put it. I'll drop we'll it. Put in it now. in again now. Um, if you can quickly fill out the survey, um, we'll leave it live for a little bit longer, um, and then that's us wrapped up for today. So we've run over a little bit. Hope you have enjoyed it. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to do some more of these cooking streams um, next um, academic year. Yeah. But for now, this is the final one for this academic year. So it's been an absolute pleasure. But the academic year starts again in September. So. Yeah, it starts in September. <laughs> it's not so long. It might not be that long. Jalapenos, um, I don't know. Are these sometimes okay, things so. go in terms, so it might not be until January when you see us again on here. But it's been a pleasure. Have a good day, have a good week, everybody. Um, I'm sure I'll see you in the, in the chat at some point. Tease. Okay, cool. Bye, guys. Matthew's 